Okay, so you have these three sort of sets of ranges or cells, and you want to move them all into one column here. But for some reason, you may not want to click, get the little hand, click and drag them over. For perhaps you're doing something like adding to this score and you need someone else to be inputting data, but you don't want them to have to go down to another row and find it to add it. Maybe you want them to continue adding this way, or you have some data that you just want a formula to always update instead of having to copy and paste this or move this by hand. Again, you can sort of do this. You can do Command X, cut and paste if you want. You can even just copy and paste here and copy and paste. Copy this and paste it here, right? Um, but again, you just want to do this with a formula. I'll show you a really simple formula that's not even named. It's just using curly brackets. Uh, what we're going to do is do an equal sign here and do curly brackets, uh, just one curly bracket, actually we can end that. And inside we're going to separate two ranges, range one with a semicolon and range two. But what are those ranges? This range one is going to be C, let's say two, colon D seven. It is this range here highlighted. And the second range here is going to be E two colon F seven over here. And you can see it highlighted. And now if I hit enter, I have moved these over here. But if I update this, so 89, see it's updated here as well. So any updates to these scores here will update it in this column. And now, what's really cool is you can actually do a lot of like averages or data analysis of these scores, some, some ifs, pretty easily here because they're all in one column. And you can also keep adding to this. So let's add another column to the right. And if we say we have, let's say we have some more scores and let's just color this a little bit differently. Red. We have different scores here. And we want to update this. We just go to our original formula here and add another semicolon and add G2 colon H7. And there we go. We have added that new score, this new set of scores, this new range. We've added that to the end of here. And that's really cool. Uh, to be able to update this pretty easily, pretty simply, uh, without having to edit this formula too much. But again, we're using curly brackets here, and so that's a formula that you won't find anywhere else. This curly brackets is not named. 